Hey, it's Colette Dong from The Nest, and this is Good Moves with Will and Good. Today, I'm here to take you through a 30-minute sculpt. All you need is a mat and a set of light weights. Let's get started. All right, soft bend in those knees. Let's take a nice big inhale all the way up and exhale down. <sighs> Gotta get nice and warm before we start to move through the next 30 minutes together. It's gonna be full body, arms, legs, core, the whole shebang. Give me four more like this. Taking your time. If you want to drop your weights at any point during this session, you are more than welcome to. I'll provide a couple modifications for you along the way. So truly anyone can do this. And last one, grab your ear and take it over to the right side. Just make a little space between that left shoulder. Ooh, that feels nice through the neck and that back body switch other side. Heavy weight down through that right hand. Start to give me a nice head circle down around. You're gonna bring this up into your upper body a little bit more, take it all the way up and around. Good, make this really fluid. And other way, getting all those Rice Krispies out, any crackle and pops for the day. And last one, chin's gonna go into chest. I want you to roll down your spine, touch your mat, bend your knees, articulate through your spine, and then roll it up. You're gonna do that three more times on your own pace. If you can't quite touch the ground, that's just okay. Whew. You go down as far as you can go. And we love to see it. Two more. This is the last one right here. All the way down, widen your stance, give me a nice bend and straight. Bend and press down through those heels, getting into those legs, extending. Again, if you can't quite put those hands on the ground, that's okay. You can just hang over those legs, opening up the back of the hamstring. Ooh, four more like this, go four. Last three, two more. And last one, peel your right arm up to the ceiling, sit into your left hip. Soft bend through that left knee, give me a nice beautiful twist. Take it down, other side, peel through your left side. A little faster on this one. Watching that rotation in the spine as you start to go down and up. Eight more option to move half time here if you're still waking up. The body is always there, four more. You never have to move my pace, yeah? Three, two, and one, take it down, roll it up through your spine. You're gonna be shoulder rolls at the top. Nice big sweeping circles. Whew. Good, take that momentum on the way down, a little swing, and then reverse. Take it up and around. Feeling warm? Shall we get started? Four more. In four, walk your feet in. Three, in two, and one. Walk those feet in so they're right underneath those hips. You're gonna give me a mini squat to go. Just start to hinge at those hips and take it all the way up. As you stand, I want you to press down through those heels and squeeze your butt right where it meets your hamstring on the way up, yeah? If you're feeling okay, you can start to take this squat a little bit deeper. If you're really still getting the hang of your squats, just start with that hinge in the hips. You send those hips back and there's no weight in those toes and then you press through those heels to stand up nice and tall and you go down, anchoring your tailbone. That's it, yep. Whew. Remembering that your stance is not that wide, yeah. I'm always trying to take up as much space as I can as a person with smaller legs, yeah. But keep those feet right underneath those hips. Ribs are reaching towards, hips are staying engaged. And then I want you to pretend like you have a towel underneath those heels and you're pulling it east and west as you stand. So that way we really engage the outside of those glutes on the way up. Four more counts like this. Three, two, you're gonna take a double pulse at the bottom. Give me pulse, pulse, stand it up. Beautiful, pulse, pulse, stand it up. Watch those shoulders. Give me down, down. We're gonna put a little mini combo together with these squats. Go down, down, four more like this. In four, last three, two more. Pulse, pulse, last one. Pulse, one squat and one pulse. You're gonna give me squat, stand it up, pulse, pulse to stand, boom, boom, take it up. That's it, so it's nice and deep. And then you go a little dynamic, you fire, fire, boom, boom, stand it up, good work. Whew, if you're feeling good, you can grab your weights, add a little extra weight to this. You can rock them right by your shoulders. 
If you're still working on that form, don't add that weight quite yet. Boom, ha, if you're really working on your form, take this half time. I want it to be correct before we start to move quickly. Take it down and up, pulse, pulse. Boom, boom, stand it up. Two more like this and we move on. Hup, how you doing? Last one, last one. Pulse, pulse. And stand, you're gonna start to lift your right leg up. Go behind the left, I want you to take a nice curtsy lunge. You're gonna drop that right knee down and stand it all the way up. Here we go, we're gonna start to work this left butt cheek. I want you to take everything we just activated in our squats, apply it here. So as you push down through your left heel to stand up, I want you to find that resistance, squeeze your low abs up and in, Ooh, like you're moving through taffy. Beautiful, and then I want you to press and drill through that heel. Try not to do too much of this. Swinging in the hips, back and forth. Yeah, I want you to go down and up, boom. Slice those inner thighs together on your left leg. Take it down, stand it all the way up. Nice work, down, up, 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 whee! Eight more like this, go eight. Driving that right knee down towards the ground. Chest stays nice and tall and proud, core stays engaged, ribs are locked in. Four more counts, go four. Last three, two more, two. And last one, hold it out right here. Give me a little knee to elbow, knee to elbow. Take it out, <sighs> boom. Ha, ah, nice work. Thinking about wrapping uh, that left side rib ooh, into that top right knee, that's it. Still staying soft, you should feel your left glute engaged and alive. Ooh, she's there, she's present. Four more, let's put these two together. Three, two, and one. One curtsy, curtsy, stand it up, one knee, boom. There you go. Again, option to take this half time if you need to. If you don't want that extra cardio, ha, take it half, take it a little slow. There you go, ha, lowering. Think about that pelvis, down. Pelvis stays neutral as you squeeze that core, that's it. Ha. Ooh, that left side is spicy, keep it going. You got it, four more. Nice big exhale. Go three. Two more counts. Last one, last one. Hold it right here, find your balance. Balance, balance, balance. Okay, still pulling up on this left side leg. It's gonna be a lot for this supporting side, yeah? Try and keep those hips as even as you can. Sink down through your left side. You got it, that's it. Rib squeezes into hip on the right side. Use your obliques to help lift this leg. If you're not feeling your balance today, you can always tap this toe down and you can give it a little bit of a lift. Or you can come over to a ledge and hold on to the back of a chair or a table as you find this pulse. Eight more, seven, we're moving into a balance. Combo, go four, three. I want you to carry your leg to the back and one. Carry that right leg to the back, scoop it around to the side. Now you'll notice, try to keep this left knee stable as you carry that leg. We do not want a bunch of moving in and out with that knee over the toe, yeah? So right here, I would rather see this right leg lower as you carry. I would rather see a lift and a tap, a lift and a tap than the craziness, yeah, in this left leg. Four more counts, go four. My torso does tilt forward a little bit. To offset that leg, go three, keep it nice and low, squeeze that booty. Two more, two more, two. And last one right here. Balance, you get two pulses, two to the side, carry it back, side. Give me two, carry it back and to the side. Good, watch that balance, it's dynamic. It's always moving, yeah? Boom, boom, take it to the back and side. So each rep, you might need to tap that toe. Ba, da, da. You might need to take it a little bit slower. You might nail on one and then you might fall over on the next. That's what I mean when I say balance is dynamic. It is always evolving. So you gotta evolve with it, work with it. Two more, two. And last one, you should feel that stabilizing leg really working. 
Good job, grab those arms. We're gonna take a quick upper body break. Moving right along, give me a nice bicep curl on your right arm, take it down. Now, don't forget about that other side. We gotta hit it, I know. Shake out that left booty if you have to. Good work, let's keep this rolling. Whoo, aha. What I love about building combinations in a workout is that it really keeps your mind engaged. Three, two, and one left side, and it keeps that time passing. You have a little fun with it, and it's really truly a mental release along with a physical one. <sighs> Plus you get those extra reps when you're building the combo. Four more counts right here. Give me four in three, two, bicep curl, right to left, one and two. I want you to start to shift those arms. As one lowers, the next one is gonna come up. There you go, ba. Whew, we're gonna put a little combo together. If you wanna do some standing abs here, more than welcome. Start to shift that rib cage right and left while keeping it engaged. Ba, eight more counts, good. Eight and seven, six, four more, four more, go four. Last three, punch across your chest. Give me right to left, right and left. If you need to drop down to a lighter set of weights or free arms, go right ahead. If you wanna level up, I welcome it. Ha, wherever you're at, I don't know where you've been before, maybe this is your second, third workout, Maybe this is the first workout in six months. You do you. Whatever feels good is what you're gonna do today. And guess what? You're never locked in. You can do two with the five pounds. You can do two with the two pounds. You can switch to free arms. Yeah? Experiment. Don't be afraid to try a couple reps here and there. See how you feel. See where your strength is at and feel where your confidence is at. Four more. Three, two, bicep curls. You're gonna alternate for four in three, two, Punch across your chest, right to left, four, in three, put that together, two, and one, drop it down, right, left, three, two, and one, now punch left, four, three, good, carry on like that, you have two more reps, boom, ha, punch, punch, take it down, that's your first mini combo, ha, we get to forget about it, give me four, in three, two, right arm's gonna come up above your head, Hop. I have light weights today, so I'm gonna move a little quicker, a little more brisk to get that endurance in. Ha. I think about my elbow dropping down. Hop. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, four more. Counts four. Last three. Left side, left side. Take it up, up, pull it down. Hop. Good work. Whew. When we're lifting these arms, watch the release of the side body, yeah? Keep it engaged and then watch that lift of the left shoulder. You wanna keep it down. Four more, four, alternating, two, and one. Here we go, take it up, up, up. Nice, so same, similar combo coming on deck, ha. Eight more counts, eight, seven, six, four more. Your triceps are gonna go back, alternate, two, and one. Take it back, boom, hop. Oh, your hands are gonna go back. Your triceps don't have that big of a range of motion, I will say. They're already back there, good. Beautiful, think about those pinkies. Driving up to the ceiling, eight and seven. Four more, you got this. Four in three, four high. Here we go. Give me four, three, two, four to the back. Four in three. Two, good. A light combo of fours, you got the drill. Ha, take it away, try it on your own. You can jam out, ha. It's your favorite song, boom, go. Again, take it up. Take it back, take it back. Do I have two more? I think we do, go, ha. To the back. And last one, ha. Take it back, boom. Whoo, all right, weights come down. Shake out those legs, tighten the pony, grab a sip of water, whatever you need to do. We have our other side on deck. Here we go, you're gonna give me that nice curtsy lunge. Take it all the way down and press through that right heel, stand it up. Try not to sit into this right hip too much. Again, I want you to think about you're in elevator, so your torso's going down, boom, 
I'm gonna drive it up through that right heel, that's it. We're older and wiser on this side, yeah? We know it's coming. Everyone's like, Colette, it doesn't make it easier. I know, but I'm right here. Doing it with you. Squeeze those inner thighs together like they're magnets as you drop it down. And step, if you need to put a little weight into that heel on the other leg, you can, yeah? If you're feeling good, tap a toe. You're gonna already start to work that balance, that coordination and that stability on that right side glute. Beautiful curtsy lunge. Drop that left knee as low as you can. Keep this right knee tracking right over the toe. You got it. Four more counts like this. We're gonna pick up the pace a little bit. And last one, here we go. Drop it down, stand it all the way up. If you have this pace, go ahead and go for it. If you're still working that form, take it a little slower, yeah? We all have our internal clocks, our internal rhythm that we move to. And today is not the day to really follow something that doesn't feel good, yeah? There's a difference between backing off because laziness or doing what feels good. So know the difference between that as well. Are you doing it for pure comfort? <sighs> or are you doing it because that is what is effective for you? In three, hopefully the latter. Two more, two. And last one, take it in. Knee to elbow, boom. Take it down, good work, ha. Hey-o, this is gonna be part two of our curtsy lunge combo, we got it. Elbow to knee, find that cross body squeeze. One long line between that toe and those right fingertips. That's it, that's it. One and two. Can I hear a one and two together? Four more, go four. Aim three, two, here we go. One and two, take it down. One cross. So you're hitting all of these edges. If you were inside of one of those um, hamster balls that are clear, yeah, the ones that you run on a lake in or just the plastic ones that a hamster goes into, I want you to pretend like you're scraping the edges of that ball with your fingers and your toes. So how big can you expand those limbs? Using that breath to help you, it is your ally, give me four. Last three, two more, ha. Last one, find your balance, woo! Take it all the way up. How you doing? We're almost there, y'all. We're gonna move to the ground in just a second. Ha. Check in with this right side. It's gonna get a little spicy. Drive down through that right heel. Soft bend in that knee. Again, if you wanna balance, put that toe down. If you wanna hold on to something, on that side, wherever you are, you are. Ha. You're gonna work from there. In seven, six, we're gonna carry this back. In four, three, left leg, carry back. Here we go, carry it back for two, out for two, that's it. You're gonna start to feel this in your stabilizing foot as well. Maybe a little crampy in the arch of that right foot in the angle, that's okay because your foot's gonna work to try and stabilize you as well. But the goal here is that that stabilization comes up a little bit higher, it comes from the core. So I want you to squeeze low abs, try to feel the fire in the right side glute, and then everything underneath should be nice and steady. And why is that? Because you want that balance and stability to save you and apply to normal day life, yeah? Have you ever stepped down from a curb <laughs> and rolled your ankle, ankle and you're like, whoo, I almost lost my life just then, you know? It's very daunting. This is what's gonna help that. So when you step down on that curb, your glutes fire and that lower limb is protected. Yeah, we don't want any weakness there. It's gonna really help you on those uneven surfaces in life. Let's put this together. You have two up, give me two. Take it back, take it side. Take your time, ha, ha, especially with balance. We all have that internal clock, that momentum. 
That feels good. Two more and that's it. Two. Take it around. Ah! Right booty is screaming. Last one. Ha! Take it around and take it down. Good. All right, you're gonna come all the way out. Walk around, we got a plank in store, I know. How lucky are we? Take it down. Weights can come to the front of your mat. Give me a quick child's pose. Scooch that booty up and in. You're gonna find that breath. We have two planks on deck. First one is gonna be a modified plank. You're gonna bring your hips overneath your knees. I want you to press down through the mat. So I don't want you to sink down up into these shoulders, yes? The hands are very active here. And you're gonna cross tap. You may a nice cross tap on the shoulders. So your fingertips are gonna come up to your shoulders and I want you to find this control here. So try not to dip into the left or right side. It's actually quite hard when you really think about that lift, you're gonna find all of these micro adjustments happening in that core. So it's really a scoop and a lift. Try not to overarch or let it fall down or over scoop here. It's a nice natural neutral spine supported from that core. Hey, eight more like this. Six, four more counts. Go four, three, two. I want you to start to slide that right leg out behind you and then you're gonna slide it back in towards your mat. Now, this is a, also a plank, y'all. Don't forget that. Just because we're not on our toes yet, doesn't mean that we're not already trying to engage through the knees and hands to support our body in this position. So if you ever feel like you're weak because you're dropping down to knees, just eliminate that narrative, switch to your left. Eliminate that narrative right now because this is also a plank. Whew. You're still working, you're moving smart, you're stabilizing through that core. Four more counts, four in three, two, and here we go, walk it back, back, right, left. We're gonna pick this up, knee, knee, that's it. If this is not an option for you today, you can stick with that tap back, boom, and tap back. And on that shift, as you're walking those legs back, I want you to practice pulling those low abs up and stabilizing through that core even more. Ha, good, that's it. Four more counts, four, three. Arms, arms, legs, legs, here we go. Arm, put it down. Legs, legs to the back, go boom, boom. Take it down, take it down, that's it. There's your combo. Ha. As we move on in these reps, try not to forget about that form. Whew, that happens to me a lot. I get chatty with y'all. I start having fun and then all of a sudden my back is overarched and we're here. Yeah, so it is a constant, a constant thought, a constant adjustment. Squeeze that back body as those legs go out. Two, press it, back, back, up. Again, again. Take it back, go, boom. Do you have two more? I think you do, ha. Take it back. Last one like this, one, two. Good work, good work. Hold that plank, hold it, hold it, hold it. And drop those knees. Beautiful, you're gonna swizzle your feet around, lay it back onto your back, grab your weights. We are almost there. Whew. Okay, weights are gonna come in your hands. I want a nice neutral pelvis. They're gonna come right above the head and then I want you to do me a nice row, row and press it up. Boom. Good, so watch the rib cage here again. Once we start to lay on the ground sometimes, the mind checks out and we're like, oh, we're so close to stretch. Time to let everything go. Not today, we have a little bit longer. You are almost there, ha. We have five minutes left, three of which are effort and the rest is stretch. So you definitely have this. Think about those elbows going wide. And I want you to press them up like it's a big triangle right above your head. Three, last two, two, and last one. You're gonna start to give me a nice curl with the weights. You're gonna crunch it up, lift the head, neck, and shoulders, and take it back. Now, if you're somebody that struggles with a lot of head, neck, shoulder pain in crunches, maybe drop those weights and put those hands behind your head for today. 
Ha, and really press the back of your head into those hands so you have that support. The head is heavy, y'all. Whew. Remember that. Two more like this. Two. And last one, curving those ribs in towards those hips. We're going to start to reach over. Extend that leg up and peel it all the way down. Boom. So I want you to peel your left shoulder up and off the mat. Ha. As you start to come all the way over. Eight more. Eight. Seven. Six. My right arm is cactus up. Four. In three. Two. Left side. Reach it up and over. Boom. Take it down. You get that nice twist. We're going to put this together in our final combo of the day. Eight more. Eight. Seven. Again, six. Drop those weights if you have to. Four more. Four. In three. Two. Two crunches up. One left, one right. Boom. Da. Take it over. That's it. Two crunches. Boom. Hop. The zero weight version looks like this. I'll show it next. Hop. You just drop those weights nice and easy. It's two crunches. Two and up. Keep those elbows nice and wide. And then it's an extend across and an extend across. Those weights are there for that extra challenge if you want to take it, but you do not need them to find that core activation. All you need is your body weight your breath, a little mental control and thought, and that's it. Take it, scoop those low abs back. Again, press the back of the head into the hands. That is what those hands are there for. Up, cross, cross. Last one, last one, take it up. Cross, cross. Beautiful, wherever you're at, everyone's gonna drop those weights down. Put the hands behind the head. Give me a nice roll up through those hips, finding a bridge. Heels are close to that booty, roll it all the way down. Take it all the way up, 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 up. Two more. Cooling down that spine. And last one, beautiful work coming down. You're gonna hug your knees into your chest. Woo! Three big breaths to calm down that nervous system. We have a three minute stretch. Please stay for it and treat your body to what it deserves after all of that activation. You are gonna bring that knee up Give me a little bit of a rainbow up and over towards your chest through that left hip. So you're massaging that hip in the socket. You just take it up and over and then gently take it over for a twist, not over extending here. Glue that left shoulder down, just a little mobility and stretching in opposition. Drop that hip down. Your left leg's gonna come up. You're gonna give me a nice hamstring stretch. If you can't quite grab your ankle, you can grab the calf or right behind the hamstring. If you wanna keep that leg slightly bent, whatever you got going on today. Take it across. Your ankle's gonna go over your right knee and then I want you to hug your right leg in. I think about squeezing my left butt cheek to help my left knee turn out a little bit more. So I truly get deep into those glutes from all of those lunges and curtsy lunges and balance. So you're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. Drop your left leg in, hug that right knee in. Give me a little up and over. Before settling into that twist. Remembering to utilize your breath every time you stretch. Take it back so that you don't tense into the stretch, but that you find a nice release. The opposite leg comes up again. You might be a little tight in these hammies, just doing what you can with what you got today. Cross it over. Scoop it in. Gently bring both knees into your chest. You're gonna find a roll up 
and a spiral around. Give me a nice child's pose before you hit a downward dog. Gently coming back to earth, child's pose. You're gonna press back into your downward dog and then walk your hands up into your heels. Roll it all the way up and take a quick lap. Feeling long and engaged and strong. Thanks so much for joining me. You did a great job. I'm Colette from The Nest and this is Good Moves with Well and Good. Like and subscribe for more sweaty content and we'll see you soon.